friends, welcome to my channel. So our today's video lecture is on sympathomimetic drugs. We are not gonna just study the drugs, but first, what is sympathetic nervous system? How does it work? Which neurotransmitters play role in it? Okay, and then we'll study about the receptors, the adrenergic receptors over which our drugs will act. Okay, if you are new to the channel, then please consider subscribing. And you can follow me on Instagram and Facebook where we are going currently with radiographic interpretation series which is going quite fantastically and uh, students are learning from it quickly and it is helping them a lot. So please do join me over there and to get a free PDF of any of my video lectures you can get it from my telegram channels. All the links are in the description box below okay. So any further ado let's get started. So guys, as you can see in the sympathetic system on the preganglionic sides, we have a neurotransmitter which is acetylcholine. Okay, acetylcholine is present on the preganglionic side, whereas on the postganglionic side, we can have norepinephrine, acetylcholine, dopamine, or epinephrine in sympathetic nervous system. Okay, norepinephrine is present on heart and vessels. Acetylcholine, this is exclusively present on preganglionic and postganglionic site only on sweat glands and vessels. So do remember it, uh, one MCQ have been asked from this, okay. And dopamine is present on renal vessels on the postganglionic neuronal site, okay. And epinephrine can be present on heart and vessels on the postganglionic sites. So in this part of ANS, noradrenaline is the neurotransmitter at most of the sites, okay. So we'll study the synthesis of noradrenaline briefly. Why? Because it will help us to understand the mechanism of a drug, okay. Uh, the sympathomimetic drug which act on the various steps of this synthesis of noradrenaline. So just pay attention. First, notice that this is our presynaptic terminal and this is our postsynaptic neuron, okay. So, first of all, the circulating tyrosine is transported into the neuronal cytoplasm, okay, uh, where it is hydroxylated to form L-DOPA. The full form of DOPA is dihydroxyphenylalanine, okay, tyrosine will get converted to phenyl. Alanine. And this is the rate limiting step which is uh, catalyzed by an enzyme tyrosine hydroxylase. Okay. Now this L-DOPA is converted to dopamine by the action of non-specific decarboxylase. Okay. And this dopamine is transported to the storage vesicles. As you can see these are our storage vesicles into which our noradrenaline has been stored until it receives a Stimulus, okay. Stimulation of this neuron by action potential increases the influx of calcium ions, okay. And uh, which will result in the exocytosis of the noradrenaline. As you can see this blue molecule being released, okay. So when it will receive a uh, stimulus, there would be change into the action potential of the neuron. And it will release the noradrenaline via exocytosis. Now this noradrenaline released in a synapse can act on two sides, okay, pay attention to it. This noradrenaline, the blue molecules which are released, they can act on two sides, okay. This is our presynaptic site and this is our postsynaptic site. So this noradrenaline can act on both of these sides, okay. This action of noradrenaline is terminated mainly by reuptake in the vesicles, okay. Now this is the easiest mantra to remember the sympathetic system ka function. Okay? Sympathetic system stimulates heart and inhibits at all other places. Okay. So here we can see briefly the functions of sympathetic system. Okay. It will dilate the pupil which is mydriasis. Right? It will inhibit the flow of saliva. It will accelerate the heartbeat. Dilate the bronchi, bronchodilatation, inhibit peristalsis and secretion, 
okay it will uh, do the conversion of glycogen to glucose so it will also uh, facilitate the gluconeogenesis in our liver okay in the further lecture we will study it and the secretion of adrenaline and noradrenaline of course and it will inhibit the bladder contraction okay so basically it's quite opposite to the actions of parasympathetic yeah so the sympathetic receptors okay they are of two type alpha and beta alpha are further divided into alpha 1 and alpha 2 now alpha 1 a are present on prosthetic urethra and eye such detailed classification is not of importance for your mcqs but just remember ki alpha 1 kahan pe present hai alpha 2 kahan pe present hai okay alpha 1 b is present on blood vessels and uh, alpha 2 receptors as i said on the presynaptic they act like a break to sympathetic system guys ye aapko note down karna padega and do memorize it okay on the presynaptic side it will act like a break to the sympathetic system whereas on the post synaptic side uh, alpha 2 receptors are present on blood vessels and brain okay In this diagram, you can see this is our presynaptic site. Okay, this yellow one is the presynaptic site, and this is our postsynaptic site. In between this is the synapse. Okay. Uh, then beta receptors. Beta one कहाँ पे present होते हैं? Heart and uh, JG cells. In beta two is present on bronchus, GIT, bladder, ureter, liver, skeletal muscle. Skeletal muscle spindles and blood vessels. Okay, and beta three is present on adipose tissue, coronary vessels, and urinary bladder. Now to remember its site, we have a easy mnemonic over here. Okay, we have one heart. So beta one is present on heart, and we have two lungs. So lungs me beta two receptors होते हैं. ठीक है? Blood vessels are also having alpha 1 receptors and they are also having beta 2 receptors. So, when the sympathetic system will work, then what function of both of them? Right? This is the question. Hota hi hai. Now, it depends upon the relative number of receptors. If a blood vessel contains more of alpha 1 receptor, it will cause constriction. Okay? It will cause vasoconstriction. If blood vessel is having more of beta 2 receptors, it will cause vaso dilatation so here is a very funny example okay so when we see a lion we require sympathy so sympathetic system is activated now we need to run now right muscles require more blood so waha pe kya hoga vaso dilatation which means ki skeletal muscles pe beta 2 receptor present hai okay Whereas our skin and the internal organs, they require minimum of the blood. So, wo sites pay vaso constriction through alpha 1 receptors. Okay. I hope this much is clear now. Yes. And uh, we have seen in the functions of uh, sympathetic system, right? That it, it produces the glucose from the liver. So, how does it happen in the gly in hypoglycemic state? Beta 2 receptor in liver, they reverses the hypoglycemia by increasing the formation of glucose. They stimulate the gluconeogenesis and glycogenolysis. Okay, they break the glycogen and produces new glucose molecules in the liver. So, this is also an important function of sympathetic system in our hypoglycemic state. Okay. And the warning symptoms which are uh, produced in hypoglycemic state, which are uh, tachycardia, palpitations, okay, they are via beta 1 receptors. Beta 1 receptor kaha pe, kaha pe tha? Heart pe, right? Because we have one heart and two lungs. So, beta 2 on lungs. Now, adrenergic agonist or sympathomimetic drugs, okay? They act via three different mechanisms. Either they will act directly on our alpha and beta receptors, okay? Or they will act indirectly. They will act indirectly by increasing the amount of 
nor adrenaline in the synapse and mixed acting they are having mixed actions okay so in the directly acting we have a uh, selectively acting and non selectively acting okay so on selectively acting on alpha 1 receptors we have phenylephrine on alpha 2 receptor we have clonidin it acts exclusively on the alpha 2 receptors okay then dobutamine which acts on beta 1 receptor okay and uh, terbutaline which acts on beta 2 receptors and non selective like oxymetazoline isoprotenolol okay epinephrine and norepinephrine they are non selective they can act on any receptors and then uh, by indirectly acting we can see releasing it have amphetamine and tyramine then reuptake inhibitors okay we, yeah we have studied now that uh, um, noradrenaline is terminated by its reuptake into the vesicles so we have this reuptake inhibitors like cocaine and tricyclic antidepressants okay so these drugs will act as a uh, reuptake inhibitors so that more of the noradrenaline is available into synapse right then we have mao inhibitors which are monoamine oxidase a inhibitors okay this is our enzyme monoamine oxidase and then we have comt inhibitors which stands for catechol o methyl transferase inhibitors like entacapon and selegiline is a mao inhibitor now indirectly acting sympathomimetic see here you can see uh, the synthesis of noradrenaline okay and the drugs which are acting on the uh, vascular reuptake inhibitors we have cocaine and tricyclic antidepressants okay these drugs are of importance then we have reserpine okay this is also clinically important drug for us okay then carbidopa which acts on dopa decarboxylase enzyme okay now we'll see the use of each and every drug okay and this is a very simple chart for each and every receptor or uspe kaun si drug act hoti hai or what is the use of that drug okay so uh, guys this is also i have scanned it from my notes and it is very simple to understand so just please note it down or add into your notes okay or stick it in front of your study table and revise it again and again okay this is very simple uh, this is the simplest chart which i could get so yeah alpha 1 agonist theek hai kon kon se aise uh, drugs hai which will facilitate the action of alpha 1 which will act through our alpha 1 receptors and to remind you alpha 1 receptors were present on i blood vessels static urethra okay so uh alpha 1 agonist are oxymetazoline xylometazoline and nefazoline they will act as nasal decongestants then we have methoxamine mefentermine and medodrine they will act as vasopressors okay remember alpha 1 receptors does the vasoconstriction okay then we have phenylephrine which is a mydriatic it will dilate our pupil right so guys here you can see the xylometazoline nasal drops okay they will act as nasal decongestant and here we have a tropicamide tropicamide was anticholinergic and phenylephrine in dono ke combination ke eye drops are present okay so in dono ka function ek hi hai theek hai anticholinergic or sympathomimetic ye dono eyes pe same action dete hai which is of uh, dilating the pupil right so uh, we have this combination of uh, eye drops are available pharmacology is difficult because we don't prescribe this drugs right we have never seen this that's why we don't remember the drugs but by seeing this way and learning it like this way it will help you memorize it right now the alpha 2 agonist okay we have methyl dopa which is used 
for hypertension then clonidin this is very important drug of this group okay it is uh, useful in hypertension diabetic diarrhea prophylaxis of migraine as an analgesic okay then in adhd disease then we have dexmedetomidin which act as a sedative tizanidin which is a muscle relaxant and apraclonidin and bromidin which are used in glaucoma basically as their mydriatic action okay so clonidin is available as this transdermal system okay 0.2 mg per day is its dosage we can also give clonidin as epidural injection okay here you can see the bremodin tartrate ophthalmic solution okay it will uh, uh, help in in the dilatation of the pupil so that uh, ophthalmologist can see the retina properly now the beta 1 agonist it is prenalterol okay it is still experimental and not so much in use beta 2 agonist are of interest okay ये बहुत ज़्यादा इम्पॉर्टेंट है वी हैव सालब्यूटामॉल टॉब्यूटालाइन सालमेटेरॉल एंड फॉर्मेटेरॉल ओके दे आर यूज फॉर ब्रॉन्कियल अस्थमा यू माइट बी नोइंग दिस ग्रुप ऑफ ड्रग वेरी वेल राइट देन वी हैव रिटोड्राइन एंड इसोक्सुप्राइन इट इज़ यूज फॉर प्री टर्म लेबर एंड बीटा थ्री अगोनेस्ट आर मीरा बेग्रॉन डू रिमेंबर इट इज पे कैम सी क्यू था इट इज़ यूज फॉर ओवर एक्टिव ब्लेडर राइट here you can see the salbutamol in tablet form as well as uh, in the inhaler it is available like this way ventilon inhaler salbutamol we'll study about few important drugs of this class like adrenaline noradrenaline clonidin in detail in our one drug in 3 minute series okay so stay tuned and thanks for watching